Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today, we're starting an adventure. We're going to find out what the best batch of Stag Jr. is. Heck yeah. Before we get into this video, I want to thank today's video sponsor, IntoTheAM.com. IntoTheAM.com is the provider of the shirts that I wear that are the most comfortable shirts that I wear. This basic tee, extra comfortable. All of their graphic tees, extra comfortable and extra graphic. Click the link in the description below into the am.com slash ADHD. Join their tea club. Their tea club, it's a monthly subscription club. And if you join their tea club, you'll get a free t-shirt your first month. Also, they got some pretty sweet sales going on. Graphic tees, three for 60 bucks. And don't forget to use ADHD at checkout to get 10% off. This is gonna be an extra awesome video because I'm feeling extra awesome in this into the AM t-shirt. I'm flexible and super cool. And I can do all the movements you wouldn't expect a man my size to do. Thanks into the AM for making comfortable clothing and thanks for sponsoring this video. So Joshua Mackey of Minnesota Whiskey Elite who once sent me the gigantic ginormic Elijah Craig barrel proof tournament flight also sent me a Jim Beam flight that I did on a live stream a couple weeks ago but he didn't stop there he then sent me a bunch of stag junior samples batch 8 through batch 15 and today we're doing the first round to find out what the best batch of stag junior is beside me I have three glasses, and in those three glasses are three different batches of Stag Jr. Which batches? I don't know yet. I won't know until the reveal. The winner out of these three samples will move on to the finals, the Stag Jr. finals. Now let's get down to business and see which Stag Jr. moves on to the finals. Per Josh's orders, I poured these probably about 20 minutes ago. Let's go in for a nose on glass number one. Huh. Peaches. Whew. A little too deep on that one. That's what she said. Stone fruit, peaches, cherries. A little bit of citrus, strong vanilla. Mmm, very astringent, very, very potent on the nose. Hints of chocolate. The predominant note here is a stone fruit. Maybe like a peach or an apricot. Let's go in for a taste of glass number one. Wow. wow. It's a high proof hooker. It's creamy. It's ethanol forward. It's pungent and potent. It's coming at me with a trident and stabbing me directly into my dangly thing. The epididymis, I think it's called. Hit it hard with the trident. Glass number two. Glass number two is oaky. It is very astringent. There is not a ton of other notes coming off of here. Maybe like a graham, like a, like a very drunk graham cracker. Like a hammered, soggy graham cracker stumbling down the street trying to hail a taxi cab, but no cab is gonna pick it up because it doesn't want graham cracker crumbs smushed into its seat. The nose on number two is not as great as number one. Number two down the hatch. Wow. Also strong. Also powerful. I gotta say, after sipping one and two, they're both just like radioactive waste in the best of ways. They're super hot. They're super powerful. Glass number three. Glass number three. Glass number three is more cinnamon and nutmeg. A little bit of wet oak. Some moonshined cherries. Let's go in for a taste. There we go. A little bit more vanilla, a little bit more cherry. The flavors are starting to come together a little bit. This is more quintessential Buffalo Trace. This is good. I do like number three, I think more than number one and number two, I think. I'm just gonna sip some water here and wait this out a little bit. 
sipping them back to back to back like that, there aren't a terrible lot of differences. There not, there's not a terrible, terrible amount of differences. There's like nothing wildly different about these three. They're all three very powerful, very strong stag juniors. Glass three, glass two, glass one. Glasses two and three have the best noses. Glass one just falls a little bit short. There's not a lot happening. There's not a lot happening on the nose of number one versus number two and three. Let's go in for a tasting in of number three. Yes, that's nice. Heck yeah. That is like a strawberry, cherry, vanilla, creamy, oaky. That's like, that's classic Stag Jr. right there. Glass three is good. I feel like when I did the Elijah Craig barrel proofs, there was a much wider variance. A much wider variance in the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Glass number two. Ooh, that nose is good. Ooh, a little toastiness on glass number two. All right, down the hatch. Dang, that's good. That's so close. Man, that's close. I would assume that there are gonna be upsets here. I know that some people have favorite batches, but I don't anticipate them moving on the way that people think that they should move on because how closely these taste. There's no clear cut winner. If I tasted these tomorrow, a different winner could happen. That is so much alcohol. I have a winner. I have chosen my winner. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Tonight, I did not enjoy this flight. It was so much in your face alcohol. And for some reason tonight, I just wasn't in the mood for that much alcohol. Normally barrel strength stuff is my jam, but these three kicked my butt. These three really kicked my butt tonight and I don't know why. I had to sip back and forth between glass two and three a lot, a lot. And it was very difficult for me to determine a winner. Glasses two and three are a toss up. Glass number one I put in last place. Glasses two and three, it could have gone either way. Glass number one was in last place and glass number one is sample number 25. Number 25 is Stag Junior Batch 8. In second place tonight was glass three and glass three is number 26. And 26 is Stag Junior Batch 14. It could have won any other night, but glass two edged out glass three in the end. And glass three is number 27. And 27 is Stag Junior Batch 12. So that means Stag Junior Batch 12 moves on in the tournament to the finals, to the finals two more opening rounds remain to see who moves on to the Stag Junior Finals. This one was a quick schlammering because I just was sipping on Stag Juniors and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I'm like, what day is it? Monday. Still, that's weird. Stag Junior Batch 12 moving on to the finals. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on maybe thinking about joining the Patreon group. www.patreon.com slash ADHD Whiskey. Over there, you get shots at barrel picks. Got a Knob Creek barrel pick coming up any day now. So join the Patreon group and get your hands on one of those bottles. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you know when there's a new video or when I go live and leave a comment below telling me how stupid I am for picking Stag Junior Batch 12 over 14 or eight, or tell me how smart I am for picking Stag Junior Batch 12 over Batch 14 and eight.